Starting Monday, all Albertans 12 and older can get their COVID vaccine. While that was the positive spin out of today's news conference by Premier Jason Kenney, he immediately had to defend public health restrictions he revealed Tuesday night. We, we have no tools left, no tools left to prevent a worst case scenario in the healthcare system apart from these additional measures. The Premier admits Alberta is in a dire situation with rising COVID cases and increased pressure on ICUs. Kenny believes expanded vaccine eligibility is the only thing that will bring the province out of the pandemic. When we were earlier in the, in the pandemic, we were kind of on a tightrope without a net. Uh, the vaccine is our net now. With events like the boat and rodeo, the big question around new public health measures and increased fines is will they be enforced? I have not directed any local uh, law enforcement or police services to not enforce the public health orders or to issue tickets. The opposition NDP not buying any explanation that a lack of enforcement hasn't come from the top. We heard from the chief of police in Calgary and he's, where he said his partners in the province have told the police not to issue too many tickets. So when uh, Casey Maddu says he doesn't know where this has come from, I suggest he look to the people who report to him directly. Opposition leader Rachel Notley also called out the province over the uncertainty over businesses and children moving to online learning, saying she understands why Albertans are pandemic fatigued. Best summer ever. Oh, it'll be a good summer. Oh, well, it'll be a decent summer. You know, I mean, that whole approach to managing this, this uh, pandemic is in and of itself contributing to a lot of the non-compliance that we are seeing amongst Albertans. Political watchers say after suspending the legislature last week, the Premier was forced to face the music. And that's what's behind making an announcement and limiting the questions last night. It's also behind the um, the sort of group effort press conference today, um, clearly he's feeling the heat of all of the questions that are being directed at him and he's trying to diminish that. In Edmonton, Darcy Ropchan, City News.